I'm going steady. And I French kiss. So everybody does that. Yeah, but Daddy says I'm the best at it. You got asteroids? No, but my dad does. Can't even sit on the toilet some days. Daddy says after the baby comes, I can quit one of my night jobs. Yeah, I bet you could use a cool one, huh? Now nah, you're talking. <laughs> I don't know why they call this stuff hamburger helper. It does just fine by itself, huh? Uh, I like it better than tuna helper myself. Don't you, Clark? Real tomato ketchup, Eddie? Oh, nothing but the best. No, I got uh, laid off when they closed that asbestos factory. <clears throat> now, wouldn't you know it? The Army cuts my disability pension because it said that the plate in my head wasn't big enough. I didn't want to ask you, Clark, you know, but could you maybe spare a little, you know, extra cash? How much you need? About fifty-two thousand dollars What's this? This is for you, Clark. Oh, uh, what is it? Gift. Oh. You really shouldn't have. Oh, those are great, Dad. Quiet down, Russ. Come on. No, 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 I don't want to get them dirty. I told you you wouldn't like them, Eddie. <laughs> oh, man, it is a blazer out there. You're lucky you got air conditioning in here like Mother Nature intended. Can you believe it? They used to test H-bombs on this beautiful piece of property. All I know, Clark, is that my teeth have never been whiter and my garden is spitting out 50-pound tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you folks wouldn't mind the uh, youngster shacking up with you after that long drive. We could use a little private time together. <laughs> Honey, why don't you run and get the kids things and don't forget the rubber sheets and the gerbils. <laughs> I've lost $300 in 15 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, every time my belts, the plate shifts and my legs give out, but man, what a view. You know that metal plate in my head? Ah, how can I forget? I had to have it replaced because every time Catherine revved up the microwave, I'd piss my pants and forget who I was for a half hour or so. Only problem is he's got a little bit of Mississippi leg hound in him. If the mood catches him right, he'll grab your leg and just go to town. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want him around if you wear his short pants, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a word of warning, though, if he does lay into you, it's best to just let him finish. Oh, that there, that, uh, that's an RV. Yeah, yeah, I barred it off a buddy of mine. He took my house, I took the RV. <laughs> it's a good-looking vehicle, ain't it? Yeah, it's so nice parked in the driveway. Yeah, it sure does. But don't you go falling in love with it now. Because we're taking it with us when we leave here next month. <laughs> if only I had back the money that me and Catherine sent that TV preacher that was screwing the hockey players. What about the kids? Well, his kids can fend for themselves. I ain't no. I ain't seen a beating like that since somebody stuck a banana in my pants and turned a monkey loose. Shitter was full! Ah, yeah. You check our shitters, honey? Anybody ever told you before your bad luck? Those were my mother's dying words. But you know, when you got your body covered in third degree burns and your foot's caught in a bear trap, you're gonna start talking crazy. Don't be alarmed, he's with me. <laughs> 